Did you know that the word dragon comes from the ancient Greek word drakonta, which means to watch? Yes, the ancient Greeks imagined dragons as keen-eyed creatures guarding treasured possessions. We often regard mythology as a fascinating realm of whimsical beasts and legendary heroes, a mirror to the human psyche across civilizations, a testament to the power of storytelling, yet there's more to it than meets the eye. Picture this, a time when these creatures were not merely elements of fantasy, but symbols of power, wisdom and fear, intimately woven into the fabric of ancient cultures. From the fire-breathing dragons of ancient Greece to the shape-shifting yokai of Japan, these mythological creatures were more than bedtime stories, they were an essential part of the societal narrative. A surprising fact, the dragon a creature of myth and legend, its name derived from an ancient Greek word meaning to watch. As we dive into the past, brace yourself for a journey through the fearsome world of ancient mythological creatures. We start our countdown with the fearsome Nemean lion from Greek mythology. This fearsome beast was no ordinary lion. Its golden fur was impervious to attack and its claws sharper than any mortal's weapon. It was said that Hercules himself had to strangle the beast with his bare hands as no weapon could pierce its hide. Next up we have the Lernaean Hydra, a water serpent of extraordinary size and ferocity. Born of Typhon and Echidna, the Hydra was a terrifying creature with many heads, the sight of which could strike terror into the bravest of hearts. The most fearsome aspect of the Hydra was that for each head cut off, two more would grow in its place, making it a seemingly invincible foe. At number 8, we encounter the Chimera. A fire-breathing monster from Greek mythology, the Chimera was a fearsome amalgamation of a lion, a goat and a serpent. The mere mention of its name would ignite fear in the hearts of men, as the Chimera was known to bring disaster and misfortune. Coming in at number seven, we have the Gorgons. These monstrous women with hair of living venomous snakes and eyes that could turn anyone who dared to look into stone were the embodiment of terror. The most famous of them, Medusa, met her end at the hands of the hero Perseus, who used a mirrored shield to avoid her petrifying gaze. At the halfway mark, we find the Sphinx. This creature, with the body of a lion and the head of a human, was known not just for its physical strength, but also for its riddles. The most famous riddle of the Sphinx was posed to Oedipus, who correctly answered it, leading to the Sphinx's demise. While these creatures have sent shivers down the spine of many, wait till you hear about the top five. Topping our halfway list at number five, we have the mighty Minotaur. This beast, half man and half bull, is a symbol of terror from ancient Greek mythology. King Minos of Crete had the Minotaur locked in a labyrinth, a maze of such complexity that no one could escape it. Theseus, a brave Athenian, managed to slay the Minotaur, but not before the creature had become a symbol of power and fear. Moving to number four, we encounter the Harpies. These winged spirits of Greek mythology are known for their viciousness and speed. They were often depicted as birds with the faces of women, and they were known to steal food and even snatch away human beings. The Harpies were agents of punishment swooping down from the skies to enact divine retribution. At number three, we have the Cerberus, the fearsome three-headed dog that guards the gates of Hades, the Greek underworld. This beast was so fearsome that only one hero, Hercules, was ever able to tame it. The Cerberus was the ultimate guard dog, ensuring that the dead could not leave the underworld and the living could not enter. The runner-up on our list at number two is the Kraken. This colossal sea monster from Norse mythology was known to drag entire ships under the sea with its massive tentacles. The mere sight of the Kraken was enough to strike fear into the hearts of the bravest sailors. And there we have it, the most fearsome creature from ancient mythology, Medusa, known for her deadly gaze that could turn anyone to stone. Medusa was once a beautiful woman, but after angering the goddess Athena, she was transformed into a monster with snakes for hair. So terrifying was Medusa's appearance that merely looking at her would turn the observer to stone. This makes Medusa not only the most fearsome creature on our list, but also one of the most tragic. These creatures, as terrifying as they may sound, played significant roles in the mythologies of their respective cultures. They were not just beasts lurking in the shadows, but symbols, metaphors in the grand narrative of human existence. Take, for instance, the Gorgons from Greek mythology. Their petrifying gaze was not merely a scare tactic, but a metaphorical representation of paralyzing fear.
It was a warning against the dangers of succumbing to terror and a lesson about the power of bravery and resilience. Then there's the Nemean lion, another creature from Greek lore. Its invincible skin symbolized the insurmountable challenges that heroes must confront. It was a testament to the human spirit's ability to triumph over adversity. Now let's turn our gaze towards the east and consider the Nian, a beast from Chinese mythology. This creature, known to devour crops and livestock, was a symbol of natural disasters and hardships. But every new year, the villagers would drive it away with firecrackers and red decorations, transforming a symbol of fear into a celebration of hope and renewal. And who could forget the influence these creatures have had on modern literature and pop culture? The Basilisk from Harry Potter, the White Walkers from Game of Thrones, even the Titans in Attack on Titan, all borrow elements from these ancient mythological beasts. They continue to captivate audiences, proving that our fascination with the supernatural and the unknown is as potent today as it was in antiquity. In the end, these creatures are more than just fearsome beasts. They're embodiments of our fears and aspirations, our struggles and triumphs. They represent the eternal human quest for understanding and meaning. They're narrative devices that allow us to explore the complexity of our emotions and the depth of our existence. While these creatures may be fearsome, their stories continue to fascinate us.